in 2 Samuel 7, 27-39. Lord Almighty, God of Israel, you have revealed this to your servant, saying, I will build a house for you. So your servant has found courage to pray this prayer to you. Sovereign Lord, you are God. Type it in the chat for me. Just say, Lord, you are God. Your covenant is trustworthy and you have promised these good things to your servant. Now be pleased to bless the house of your servant that it may continue forever in your sight. For you, sovereign Lord, have spoken and with your blessing, the house of your servant will be blessed forever. Now, a little context. This was a prayer that David was praying. This was a prayer right before he was getting ready to sin with Bathsheba. 2 Samuel 8 says this, In the course of time, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. And he took Metheg Emma from the control of the Philistines. David also defeated the Moabites. He measured them off with a length of cord. Every two lengths of them were put to death, and the third length was allowed to live. So the Moabites became subject to David and brought him tribute. Now, why is this important? And why are we reading this today? Type this in the chat to say it points to Jesus. He's the same God. He is the same God that David served. He is the same God that Solomon served. He is the same God that every single Bible character serves. So I don't know who needs to hear this right now. I don't know what you're up against right now, but let me tell you something. My God never fails. My God is the same God that gave the victory to David. He's the same God that still blessed David even though he sinned. So you might be sitting and looking at your life like, oh my God, I've messed it all up. Oh man, I keep going back to the same thing. I keep going, but there is help coming. Now, now God doesn't like sin. Let's just be real about that. But I, I just feel that there's somebody dealing with this, this thought that because they, they sinned that God doesn't want to bless them anymore. But that is so far from the truth. We can go all the way back to the garden to see God's faithfulness even though, even though we keep sinning, even though we keep going back to the vomit, even though we keep going back to the things that were destroying us. Look, look, at, the, look at the garden for a second. When, when Adam and Eve, they sinned, right? They, they, they had that separation in their relationship. And God still provided clothes for them. He is a God of promise. He, he is a God that keeps his word. He is a God that comes through every single time. Type that in the chat. Just say every single time. Now I know we, we type a lot in the chat, but I just want these things to come into your spirit. I want one of them to catch in your mind, in your spirit to say, you know what? I can do this because my God never fails. So God is going to come through for you. He is going to come through. It is his promise that he takes care of the ones that love him. Revelation 1, 17 through 18. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. When he placed his right hand on me and said, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and now look. I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death and Hades. So just praise God with me this morning to say, you know what, God? I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. And God, through, through all of this right now, Lord, I just pray over this person right here, right now, that whatever they're facing, God, that you would show yourself to them today, that they would encounter the God of the universe today, that they would encounter the God of promise today, that they would see your face, God, and fall at your feet and worship you, God. Even through their issue, let them praise through the issue. Let them praise praise through and get to the promise in Jesus mighty name. Lord, I just pray peace over this individual right now, God. I just pray that you would just meet them today, that you would show them that you're right there with them, that you're not going to fail them, that you're going to see them through this. Got to understand that God didn't bring you this far just to drop you off. He didn't bring you this far 
just to see you to your end. It's not going to happen. And I get it. Like everything is stacked up against you and I get it. But that is when God shows off the most. So I just pray over you right now that that you would be able to see your situation through the lens of the kingdom. That you would be able to see your circumstance through the lens of God. And I just pray that over you. I pray that you would get, get new eyesight today. That your, that your eyes would be open to see that there's, that there's millions of angels surrounding you, protecting you. And I just pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. Right here at the end of the video, just type this. Just say, Jesus, you are my Lord. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and follow. Go ahead and smash that like button. And listen, I love you so much. And I will see you on the next one.